Hi everyone, um, it's been a while since I have shared a craft project with you, but um, I wanted to quickly share this. I'm packing it up and getting ready to put it in my suitcase. I made a few things for my sister's bat mitzvah. Um, some of you know that um, she is going to have her bat mitzvah in the next few days, and her colors were pink, well hot pink, black, white and the damask. So I, my stepmom asked me to make a few things. The first thing that I made were these, um, they're like place cards, but they are for the food to label like what kind of food it is. You know, um, there, there's a, it's a buffet dinner, um, in the evening. So what I did is I made like a tent style card so that it would stand up and um, we were going to do like alligator clips or something but that was a little more complicated and cost a little bit more and um, so I just made tent cards. All of these things are basically disposable, you know, one time use. She might keep a little bit for her, you know, mementos. But, you know, around food, it's going to get dirty. So I didn't, we didn't really want to spend a whole lot of money on it. So I just used black card stock. I got this layer. The measurement of these are three by five. And then each layer is a half an inch smaller all the way around to provide a quarter inch border all the way around. Um, so, um... The hot pink cardstock I got at Hobby Lobby, as well as this paper here, the damask paper. And then I cut white cardstock and popped it up on some fairly thin foam dots just to add a little bit of dimension. And we will write, I think we're just going to write with black pen the name of the food. And then in the corners, I put some jewel, you know, little blings that I had. These are black. Some have the hot pink and some have clear. So I made 20 of those. And then I made a larger tint style card with a bigger space to write on. This is about a 5 by 7 size. Um, same pattern or you know layering is the pink the damask and then the white I did not use pop dots on this one um, on the white portion I just stuck it down this is going to be for the gift table I believe and or somewhere else and then the final item that I made which was the most complicated that required kind of the most thought and planning were these arrows um, I I have been to the facility where the bat mitzvah is a long time ago, but um, my stepmother was saying that when guests arrive, there is a hallway and they need to go up some stairs or something, and so she wanted to have some arrows pointing people in the right direction. And she wanted them larger than 12 by 12, so I had to think of how I was going to do this. So. What I did is I took a 12 by 12 card stock, cut it in half, I'm going to refer to the black, cut it in half, and that was my stem for the arrow. And then, so to make the triangle portion of the arrow, I took an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, found the middle, and then cut it, you know, to the middle on each side to make a triangle. So then I had my black base and I decided to make layers. So then um, I did the exact same thing except for I made this the pink tail a little bit you know smaller to provide a border and then did the same thing with the eight and a half by eleven piece of paper here um, except for I, tr I trimmed off some of the cardstock to leave a border and then I had my white. There is a seam but she said that was okay and um, I they all have a white interior in case we want to write something like parties this way or whatever so I made four of them like that the pink you know and black and white. I made eight total and I didn't have enough cardstock to make them all the same, so I just made them different. I hope that's okay. Um, then I made this style. I made two of them. This was a pink damask paper that I found at Hobby Lobby, so kind of went with the theme. So there's two of those. 
and then there are two like this with the, just the black and white. So that is what I made for the bat mitzvah. Now the challenge is just going to be fitting the arrows in my suitcase so that they do not get um, crinkled. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you think and I will try to take some pictures of the items in the location so you can see how the um, decorations turned out. Thanks for watching.